Um, my name is April Thompson, and I'm with the Joyous Transition. We work with women and children who have suffered trauma and crises in our community. We help them to independently, effectively, and efficiently gain their voices after being paralyzed after a trauma or crisis that has occurred to them, such as divorce, medical issues, domestic violence, anything that is trauma or crisis to them. What we do, we do many projects um, in within our community, but one of the projects that I am seeking assistance for is our Purse for Change. We have done that for a few years where we collect purses and we fill, and we collect items such as um, sanitary nap napkins, um, wipes, hand sanitizers, shampoo, um, anything that can fit in a gently used or um, brand new purse that have been donated to us and we take them out into the homeless shelters or partner um, who we were partnered with in our community and we actually we don't just give them but we actually stay with them while they're giving out free breakfast we are at the end and we're passing out those purses um, and those pro um, those um, items inside of those purses to our community members um, we are looking for um, help with our storage because we um, have items that have come in we have a, a storage space that was donated to us that we use but we don't have shelves or anything to put the items on so that we kind of have them in uh, crates or baskets um, and kind of just organized in certain sections so we are looking for assistance with maybe building some shelves or creating some type of storage area space that we can um, store those items on because every year we do um, donate that back into our community. Um, let's see. So estimated number of people needed, I'm not really for sure. I just know that how much, how many, um, I'm just willing and grateful to have um, anyone participate in this project. Um, I'm not as uh, able to do it physically anymore because I had brain cancer and had brain surgery um, when COVID hit. So I'm not able to do as much. So I need as, you know, one, two, three, as many hands on decks as possible just so that we can give back to our community so that they know that we are here for them when they are suffering. It, it doesn't just look um, physical, but it's mental and it's things that they need that can brighten up their day. And from our community partners, we have gotten a lot of feedback from the Purse for Change Project. Thank you.